happening everybody it's been a while since i've did one of these but i am here to talk about the recent collabs that street fighter 6 has had so far um throughout its release so currently we've had three collabs with different series so the first one which was announced back at evo was for the teenage mutant ninja turtles and then we also had the Baki one? I didn't even, it, I, I wasn't even sure when that happened, but, and then we also had one f for just, just got announced last night, which was for the Spy Family collab, right? And as you can see, this is a animated version of, uh, Nishal. So let's start playing it just to see what happens in this. So yeah, you see, yours already, yours here. And of course you also have Chun-Li animated in this. And she looks great in this style, it's crazy. And of course, they don't have a model for her, so they just use the <laughs> image of her. And then, yeah, here we go. Not... Now, for me, when I saw this, I honestly thought... Okay, I don't know why it froze like this. I thought this was just going to be, like, an outfit for, for Jury. And... Because, like, yeah, when you see the style of it... You you think it's a uh, jury, but then when you look at it, you just realize, oh, it's for my avatar. That's it. It's just for the avatar. As you can see, this whole collab will just feature stuff which you can get for like your custom character. You can get the hairstyle, and you can also get Lloyd's fit as well. And you can only use these for avatar fights. That's pretty much it. Nothing else. You can't really... I'd say, yeah, you can only use them for pretty much World Tour and your avatar, and not much else. And that's where a lot of people have a problem with this, because... when The way they showcased it, and with that whole animation, because remember, they had a whole animation for this fight. Remember, this was the, uh, the animation short that was uploaded a month ago, to get everyone hyped for the whole collab that was happening. Which has the full-on fight, of course. Because, <laughs> yeah, look at this. They had a full-on fight animated. It's insane. Yeah, it looks like... And then it turns out it was just for a costume. Yeah, when you showcase something like that, you kind of... You, you, you have a lot of people, of course, expecting like, Oh, is this going to be either a character or a... Uh, a costume. Now, of course, I felt like it was going to be a costume, because I, I think it would have been fine, understandable if it was, like, a costume for, like, another character, because I think something not many people do realize is that, or, yeah, I think some people don't get is that they already have, like, their DLC characters already announced in advance, like, months ago, so, and I don't think they would ever add characters to their Season 1 pass. That's not, like, something that's normally common like it's understandable for costumes because of course you're already using these characters in the game and i feel like it's on, on um simple to just add them as costumes but then when you just have it as the avatar it's like um i don't know currently the way i see it is they're cur they're pretty much taking the uh street fighter saying in the fortnite direction when it comes to utilizing skins for your character. I definitely do not want them to stop collabing because like, of course that's insane, but at least of course, give your characters a chance to have those outfits because um, at the moment you only have uh, three costumes for each character. And back back in Street Fighter V, there was a lot of character <laughs> costumes because I think it was literally either every two months or every month a, uh, a costume pack would just drop because boom you had a uh, a mega fan pack boom you had some uh characters from mvc2 game packs boom you also had one for uh the halloween christmas summer you had a lot of crazy costumes that were dropping <laughs> each week or each month for a lot of the uh characters you were able to play as in street fighter i definitely don't uh, don't expect them to like add guest characters in, um, necessarily into the game because with 
With Capcom or Street Fighter, of course, you don't really see guest characters coming in for Street Fighter because that's not something that's ever really been done officially for a Street Fighter game outside of the Marvel vs. Capcom, Capcom vs. SNK, Tatsunoko, etc. You don't really have that with Street Fighter. Because the, the, the only times you ever see a Street Fighter character, like, a, or a guest character, is if they're from an actual Capcom game. Because you had, um, you had, let's see, I'm trying to remember, you had Akira from Rival Schools, you had, uh, you had Poison from, I think, was she for Final Fight? I forgot what it was. It's either Final Fight or another game, but yeah, you pretty much had characters crossing over from Final Fight, um, Rival Schools. You have all of those other games that Capcom has, which are part of the Street Fighter universe, and when it's already a part of the universe, technically, it's it doesn't really seem as much as a crossover when you look compared to how you have crossovers with... Um, with currently right now, you have Mortal Kombat, you have Peacemaker on the way, you have, uh, you have Homelander from The Boys coming, and you also have Omni-Man right now from Invincible, so you have, they, they have a lot of guests, since we're, and right now, um, for Grand Blue next month, we have 2B from Near coming, so there's, there's a lot of guests happening for a lot of other characters, for a lot of franchises, because I feel it's fine if they do um, their own characters, because I will say there's it's it's half and half on how you can handle characters co for guests. Because on one side, you have a lot of people coming in from that who love that series for guests, and then you also have people who want characters that they've been wanting to return for a while to be put in the game. So. It's, a, it's pretty much a double-edged sword for whenever you want guests, and I and I have that mentality for a while for when it comes to guest characters. At this point, I'd say it'd be much better handled if the characters themselves were able to get costumes that would be understandable. Because like, I feel like you would spend a lot for someone to wear a, the Yor outfit on Chun-Li or Jury, because I, I, I feel that would like be a much better selling point if you just had um, Chun-Li and Yor wear the outfit rather than just the Avatar. I think that would be a better handout. I definitely don't fully expect like an actual guest character to come to Street Fighter at the moment unless they're from Capcom themselves. Because I, I, I can definitely say this for 100% sure, because I don't expect like any guests to be popping in even for when season two gets announced i definitely don't expect that to happen for when season two happens there should be like at least a bunch of other challenges you could be should be able to do with the characters like maybe do like boss runs or like do a boss fight with jp again do like a new game plus at least more than you're able to do with the avatar because i because the currently there's of course, not much else to do with them, like as, as I said, but I want them to at least utilize them more, similar to how Xenoverse does, where you're, you have the you have the big raids, you have like different missions, a, a lot of content that is utilized for the avatars in an MMO type of way, than mainly utilizing them as a uh, as just an avatar that you're just able to have roam around the area. Let me know what you guys would want to see for when they would do collabs and uh how you would all want this to be handled um with the future going forward and let me know what else you want to get type of street fighter content you want to see for my channel i'm trying to like hopefully reach 40k by the end of this year so be sure to drop a like and let me know what you think of this video thank y'all for watching and i shall see y'all soon